From Washington and Los Angeles, this is the TVNews.TV for June 2nd, 2011. Brought to you by the Turner Alumni Mega Celebration, November 12th at Hilton Atlanta. For information and registration, search out Turner Alumni Group Celebration on Facebook. Hello, I'm Jeff Grimshaw, and we begin by shooting you to Los Angeles for our regular Thursday feature, the Media PR Scription. Now standing by is Arthur Sando with some thoughts about Cablevision and their effort to spearhead retransmission and carriage reform. Cablevision Systems raised some eyebrows last week with its filing in the FCC's proceeding on retransmission consent reform. In the past year, the big cable operator has been involved in some of the industry's most high-profile retrans battles, with both Fox and ABC programming being blacked out during negotiations. At the same time, Cablevision continues to staunchly oppose a la carte pricing, which would allow customers to buy only the channels they want without having to purchase a bundle of channels, some of which they don't want. So it's interesting to note that one of Cablevision's proposals to the FCC was that distributors should not be forced to carry cable channels owned by broadcasters just in order to be able to carry the broadcast network itself. In other words, Cablevision thinks it's unfair for them to have to buy a particular Fox-owned network, for instance, which may have little interest to its customers, in order to be able to provide what it calls must-see TV, like American Idol or the NFL, on the Fox network. In essence, Cablevision wants the FCC to rule that a distributor should be able to buy only the networks it wants to carry, a la carte. Cablevision does make a valid point when it says that forcing distributors to buy networks that they don't want winds up costing subscribers more because the costs get passed on. But that begs the question, if Cablevision seeks the right to buy only the network it chooses to carry, then why shouldn't its customers have the right to buy only the networks they choose to watch? In light of the FCC filing, I emailed Cablevision to ask them if they've changed their stance on offering a la carte pricing. I haven't gotten any response. So here's the rub. Cablevision will probably get some short-term PR benefit from coming up with a proposal that appears to be consumer-friendly. But by arguing in favor of a la carte purchasing for themselves, they're likely to have a long-term PR challenge trying to justify to their customers why such a great idea for the goose is such a lousy idea for the gander. Hey, you know, I bet if CNN could possibly arrange it, they'd bring back Osama bin Laden. They'd bring him back to life just so he could be killed again and again and over again. Why on earth would I say something like that? Well, because CNN's May ratings, driven by the death of OBL, shot up by 60% over May 2010. And let's stick with the news for a moment as we take a quick look at the big picture, which is our news analysis and commentary. Okay, there's a lot of chatter fueled by those mostly on the political left side of the aisle that the television news media should just step away from the representative Anthony Wienergate story because, well, it's just not news. Wrong. <coughs> Sorry, guys. That Schwanz is already out of the tube or the bottle or whatever. In fact, the Schwanz has already been let out a couple of times. Remember, it was news when ESPN analyst Sean Salisbury texted his junk to an unsuspecting female, which he first denied and then finally copped to. It was news when Brett Favre Wienergate happened. In fact, that was huge news. So Congressman Anthony Wienergate has to be news as well, especially when his story changes each and every minute. So, my liberal friends, and believe me, you are my friends, stop taking such a wide stance by insisting that this alleged salacious story is not news, because, like it or not, it simply is news. Future events and opportunities, brought to you by Sando Communications. Sound judgment. 
solid credibility and superior results. This is Sando Communications. Hey, who doesn't love this official, the TV News Coffee Mug? Yeah, it's good, and it's good for ya. If you want one just like it, or any other of the official TV News swag, just click right here at the TVNews.tv, or you can always get to our store via the TVNews.tv on Facebook. Speaking of that, let's stay close on Facebook, on Twitter, and on LinkedIn. And here are the exact coordinates you need to connect with the TV news. And finally, we would love to spread your message to the industry via a sponsorship right here on the TV news. Now, Clout.com and some pretty heavyweight TV execs, well, they're calling us an industry influencer. We like that a lot. Get the ball rolling. Email us at advertise at the TV news.tv. Now, tomorrow on the TV news, standing by will be Eric Mackerlin, who will have the sports TV news. I'm Jeff Grimshaw. We thank you for watching, and as always, go out and make it a good day.